my past research and in class, really my technology use was very minimal. A couple years ago, however, I tried to incorporate technology into the classroom by videotaping um, local business leaders and incorporating their insights into my organizational behavior class. And the only way I could do that is because I went to ITC and Cindy Edmonds taught me about making movies, editing them in iMovie and inserting them into PowerPoint. Michael Burke also helped me, was very patient in teaching me how to use SmartBoard and uh, I managed to pull that off and put together, I thought, a pretty good class uh, with video and music incorporated into the lectures. The work in the lab has been fairly low tech up to this point. I used videotapes and had very poor sound quality because I got the sound off of video cameras. And it was very limiting because I could not uh, code the data very well. Even the video was poor and uh, it just wasn't working very well. In this laboratory, we studied teams and team decision making and specifically virtual teams. Virtual teams are those teams where team members are distributed in different locations and they cannot see each other nor can they talk with each other except in this case through the computer. And so we have the lab set up right now to study virtual teams. What we see here are two workstations. In this room there would be one member from each team. The member on the west side of the wall is the, the blue team and the member on the east side of the wall is the red team. We also have uh, another workstations in this room. Similarly, we have a blue team member and a red team member. And they may refer to some of the information we have displayed on the wall. Here's our third room. Here we have a blue team member and a red team member. So we have, again, a team member from each team in each of the three rooms. And uh, each room contains two team members. Before doing the research on virtual teams, what we did was some face-to-face -face teams. And that had a, the lab had a completely different structure at that time. Uh, at that time, team members worked in the rooms, but they only worked at the tables. So they worked at the tables face-to-face. -face, and we provided them with what we called the information board. And here's an example here. The information board was where the team members could display their information and uh, attempt to integrate it and show it visually to one another so that they could each understand how the other was thinking about the, the task. Now we have it set up so that the teams can perform the activity they did on the information board on the computer so that they can display their information to one another and uh, by that way they can share their information in a systematic way and they can structure it and hopefully therefore make better decisions. My increased need for technology came as a result of getting a grant from the Office of Naval Research. The grant was to study virtual teams and how they make decisions. What we know from the research is that teams tend to make decisions by discussing what information is held in common as opposed to the information that is uniquely held by experts. And on expert teams, you really need to extract that expert information in order for the team to make a good decision. So this research is all about trying to help teams extract expert information and to discuss it in a way that leads them to the best solution. In order to do this research, though, I needed to be able to video the teams. I needed high quality sound because we're going to want to process and analyze how they talk to one another. I also wanted to have a condition where I had virtual teams where the teams were, the team members were interacting with one another over the computer. And I needed to have an interface for that. I needed to capture everything that they did. And I knew nothing about any of this stuff. Nothing. And it was, um, really wonderful to get the grant, but then once I started to think about it, I almost got panicky. It's like, how am I going to pull this off? And so, as I became a little bit more anxious, I decided the only solution would be to go to get some ice cream, to calm down. And when I did that, as I walked into the ice cream shop, who did I see but Alec Riedel. And uh, the moment I laid eyes on him, I was just like, that's the answer, ITC. And uh, I talked to him a little bit about what, what I was trying to do, and he suggested I go back to talk to Cindy, 
and then Cindy uh, linked me up with Pat Watson and also with Michael Burke. Cindy, Michael, and Pat and I all met to discuss what my goals were for the research and what my technology needs were. And this took some time for us all to get in sync about what exactly was going to happen and what I needed. I had, at the time, uh, surveillance cameras and quad monitors, and so that was a restriction I had to live with, with those. Uh, but I needed higher quality sound, and Pat helped with that. We got uh, desktop microphones, which are fabulous. They go through some mixers, and we can pull together the three members of each team, even though they start in different rooms, we can pull it all together and have uh, one uh, recording for the whole group. And it's nice high quality sound so that that data can be analyzed and coded. Uh, the video was also integrated in with the audio so that now I can edit it and then save the edited versions all merged together uh, onto a DVD. Well, this is our control room, and um, the reason that we need to have this control room set up the way that we do is because we need to be able to monitor our participants when they're in the lab. And so we have uh, lots of technology that will help us take care of that. Um, for instance, we have these uh, quad monitors that have been set up, um, and what happens with the quad monitors is that there are cameras set up at each workstation. Um, and there are cameras for each team. So the top monitor is for the blue team and the bottom monitor is for the red team. And one camera from each room for the team members feed into um, each quad monitor so that we can uh, see you know, one whole team at a time. Uh, we're also able to record audio at the same time. We have uh, several soundboards set up, one for each team. And um, again, similar to uh, what happens with the cameras, there's a microphone set up at each workstation and that all feeds into one soundboard and syncs up with the video that we've been able to capture for each team so that we can um, monitor the subjects, um, check to see if anyone is getting lost or doesn't understand what's going on in the experiments. Um, we can also check to make sure that they're not talking to each other or check to see when they're done with each task so we can go back out and get them started on the next thing. Uh, so what's really great about this is that for our research, one of the important things is to uh, to be able to go back and watch our subjects um, to, to be able to code for important behaviors. And so what we can do is take all the information that we're getting from the quad monitors and from the soundboards and send them over to these computers where we're capturing all of that information in real time and then we're able to um, burn that onto a DVD so that we'll have a movie of everything that our participants are doing. The lessons that I've learned through this uh, experience include that technology is available on campus and it's not that intimidating if you get the right people to help you. They can make it so that it, you do just turn on that switch. So they can make it easy. And I learned that um, the in Innovative Technology Center and the Technology Evaluation Group are wonderful resources on campus. They're all part of the Office of Information Technology and they in my opinion, seem to be able to answer any technology question that, that I might have, and I feel confident that if they didn't know the answer, that they would be very helpful in guiding me to the proper resource on campus. And so what I would suggest to other faculty members is that they be aware of the fact that these groups exist, and that, that they might consult them before they prepare a class or in, in preparation for a grant. I might next time look to them for their advice before I prepare my grant and I might be able to put forth even a more competitive proposal. So, and I would say uh, no matter what you do as faculty, you should always go to the Innovation Technology Center before going for ice cream. <laughs>